Hey guys, it's Jane here from Legend Gaming. In this video, I have another Battlefield 1 video. Don't forget to stay tuned to my channel for a ton of these, as this is what I'm pro probably going to upload up until the launch of the game. Obviously, we're switching up with Battlefield 4 gameplay this time, using the UTS-15 shotgun and the Mare's Leg. I'm going to have a full video coming out in a couple days, covering the Mare's Leg again, and sort of a Mare's Leg revisited video. See how it holds up, I believe, a year almost after it was released. Maybe completely wrong about the timeline of this gun, but we're going to hop right into this video talking about the unlock system in Battlefield 1. So basically, a bunch of the assignments slash achievements were leaked on Reddit, and one of them was called War Bonds. Basically what it said is purchase a primary weapon in multiplayer. So the way this sounds and the phrasing with this um, makes us assume that we may have a system similar to that in Battlefield Hardline, which in my opinion is a superior system to the unlock system in Battlefield 4 that allows you to purchase weapons in the game. Now first I'm just going to talk about why I think this is a better system. So in Battlefield Hardline, for those of you who don't know or who didn't buy the game, you'd earn cash by playing through multiplayer. And once you got a certain amount of cash, you could purchase weapons, gadgets, gear, basically anything in the game. There were a few weapons that were unlocked by assignments, notably the Syndicate weapons, which I think was a really cool way to balance it out between money and assignments. But basically, why I think this is superior is because if there's one gun you really, really, really want, for example, the SRR-61 in Battlefield 4, one of the best sniper rifles when the game launched, but it was the last unlock. And he kind of stunk inside me, but you felt like if you had this weapon, you could be good. And you wanted to use this weapon, and you didn't really want to snipe with any of the other snipers. You could play with an assault rifle, get a ton of cash built up, buy the SRR-61. And why I think this is great is just because it gives the player the choice. It doesn't force them to unlock stuff in a certain order. And for new players coming in, it makes them just feel good about the purchases they're making and really puts the game in their hands, which I think is a great choice. Now, this also makes sense um, because, for example, in this game, we could get tokens for killing people. Like, I'm not sure if it's going to work through tokens, money, or just maybe this leaks wrong and we just have a standard progression system but it's, this seems pretty legitimate and the way people were talking about it nobody even questioned it so i'm not sure if the person who got it is a reliable source or they got it from a, a reliable source i'm sort of new to the battlefield reddit i uh, am more of a twitter user but this leak seems pretty credible and tell me what you guys think about battlefield one using this sort of unlock system rather than the standard progression system we've seen in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Um, also with this kind of system we could implement something like wager matches which I talked about in a video a while ago that I may link again internet troubles if I don't link it just search out Battlefield Hardline wager matches on YouTube and it should pop up. But again, if you are new here, don't be subscribed down below for much more content on everything Battlefield 1. Tell me what you guys like to see from this channel in the future. Don't forget to drop a like or dislike on the video. But that's what it is for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.